the Apatros Review. In this episode, Die, Sister, Die. Another film from the driving classic set from St. Clair Vision. Hey there, welcome back to the Apatros Review. I'm your host, Milo Sipko, and join me as I take you on a ride through the wild world of science fiction action horror, all from a personal DVD collection of about 1,200 DVDs, plus a few Blu-rays, TV shows, and whatever. <laughs> now, in this episode, we'll look at the film Die, Sister, Die, which was directed by Randall Hood in the year 1972, but it wasn't released until 1978. Now, this is available in various public domain source DVD releases, my particular print coming from the Driving Classics box set issued by St. Clair Vision, which is a public domain label. Now, for the story. After his aging sister makes yet another unsuccessful attempt to end her life, Shrewdish businessman Edward Price hires a former nurse who is now working as a waitress after being fired from a previous nursing job after accusations of malfeasance to look after his sister Amanda, but with the proviso that if Amanda were to make another attempt to kill herself, the attempt must succeed. The nurse, as for Harper, makes friends with Amanda while trying to understand why she is suicidal. In the meantime, as Edward makes plans to speed along the upcoming suicide attempt, the local doctor, having been suspicious about the mysterious suspicions absence of the Price's elder sister for the past few years, begins to investigate. What nobody outside the family realizes is that Edward and Amanda played the, both play an integral role in the death of their alien father and the disappearance of their elder sister. This creaky throwback to the murder mysteries of the 1930s kind of resembles the telepic with slow pace and overriding mystery angle. It certainly doesn't even come close to offering the sexually charged supernatural frills that the lurid poster art featuring a sexy woman in red negligee being chased along the corridor ghostly hands coming out of the walls. You won't see that in the film. Director Randall Hood managed to finish shooting the film, but during post-production died of cancer. His good friend, the musical composer Hugo Friedhofer, was so destroyed that he never scored another film again. He had a long career starting from the 1930s, and there is a long-running rumor that Clint Eastwood stepped in to finish the picture as a favorite friend, Jack King, who plays Edward in the film. Die Sister Dies is a film that doesn't have anything too tangible going for it. Despite being a, tel being a tel theatrically released film, it has all the look of a telepic. Granted, it resembles the telepics that were going on at the time of the early 1970s, but was put on a shelf for about six years before finally being released. The acting is pretty decent for the type of film here, but despite some spirited performances from the main cast, I really have to pity the poor sucker who paid money to see this on the cinema screen. The mystery has some passable mileage coming out of it, but the payoff can be seen miles away. The result is a film that really doesn't do anything for the genre, except for being a rare example of a theatrically released telepic. For some strange, inexplicable reason, the film was remade in 2013. Now, this is for the gore report. There's no gore, but the mummified corpse of the private Price's eldest daughter is found bricked up in the basement. It looks pretty gnarly. And there's no nudity. If expecting to see a sexy woman red negligee being chased by ghostly hands coming out of the walls, then you're shit out of luck. No nudity seen here. I proclaim Dice to die to be a word of C. 4 out of 10. Strictly average flick. Now for the DVD. Being a public domain title, this film is available on various cheap, semi-legit and bootleg prints currently doing rounds on DVD. There have been Australian DVD multipacks of this film on it, usually in very poor quality, but my review print comes from a 2007 box set issued in the USA by St. Clair Vision, which I'll show you in a moment. That's what it looks like. Which is a... St. Clair Vision is a label that deals with public domain material. The picture and sound quality is seen in Apache. Look, the picture looks like an old VHS rip, while the soundtrack is the original English stereo upgrade to an impressive 5.1 in the 384 kilobyte range. There are no supplemental features relevant to this film and no subtitles. Anyway, so that's it for this review. Stay safe, look up to yourselves, and that's it.